My name's Jonathan Stoddard. I'm one of the physical therapists here at Barkman and Smith Physical Therapy. In a second, I'll introduce our uh, guest. We're gonna wait just a few minutes to give everybody a chance to kind of get on here before we kind of get into the main bulk of our evening. Uh, it's been uh, a fun year. We're already in December. For those of you that are tuning in right now, hopefully all your Christmas shopping is done. Uh, and then you're kind of well on your way and prepared for Christmas and everything that kind of that brings along with you. If you haven't had a chance to look back at any of our previous Facebook Lives, our most recent Facebook Live was just about two weeks ago. Uh, it was how to manage a shoulder after you've had surgery to kind of taking care of your shoulder and taking care of some self-care activities. So if you haven't looked at that, take a chance to go back and look at that one tonight. We're um, also, we'd like to give a special thank you to everybody that dropped things off for our Toys for Tots. Uh, Barkman and Smith Physical Therapy chooses a charity every year to help kind of benefit and bring in the holiday spirit. So this year we collected toys for Toys or Tot. We had patients in all of our clinics that dropped things off and we wanted to say thank you for dropping those um, off and giving us an opportunity to give back to the, the community. Um, and especially we'd like to give a special thanks to Serena that really puts all of that together and does a huge portion of the work from contacting Toys for Tots, managing it, getting things here, and then dropping those off. So she does an amazing job with that. Tonight, we're going to continue our series on get to know your therapist. Serena, who I just mentioned, was the last get to know your therapist um, focus a month ago. So if you haven't looked at that, please go back and look at that and get to know Serena a little bit better. And we'll kind of get going here a little bit. So I'm going to introduce our special guest for this evening. Um, all of my patients are pretty much my favorite patients. Cherry in particular is one of my favorite patients as well. She's been a repeat customer is here. So I'd like to introduce Cherry and Cherry, if you'll tell us just a little bit about you and then we'll kind of go from there. Hello, <clears throat> my name is Cherry writing in and John was certainly correct. I have been a repeat patient here. First, we did my right knee surgery uh, replacement, surgical replacement, and then my last time was uh, recent with my left knee replacement therapy. Uh, not counting the other times of sprains and so forth. But I always come back to uh, Bartman and Smith. <clears throat> and which reminds me, on my last follow-up visit with Dr. Gladden, my orthopedic surgeon, he was testing my knee and he asked who my physical therapist was because he was so pleased with the strength and flexibility of my knee. He said that the physical therapist must have been outstanding because my knee was just exceptional. So it's my pleasure to have been given this opportunity to interview John Starter. Let me share a few, a little bit of information about John before we go into the actual questions. John graduated Marna Cum Laude at UT Southwestern. He's a certified LSVT Parkinson's big clinician and specialized in custom power and manual seating wheelchair mobility. In 2016, John established the Bartman and Smith Wheelchair and Mobility Clinic. His past experience includes clinical rotations and acute care which includes cardiopulmonary and heart-lung transplant patients, outpatient neurological rehabilitation, and outpatient and hospital-based orthopedic rehabilitation. Oh, and he's also very funny. Now, that takes us on to our interview, right. John. How are you today? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great. You feeling the Christmas spirit? I am, absolutely. I bet your twins are too. Yes. Our, our house is full of um, Hallmark Hall of Fame Christmas mu uh, mus music and movies. That probably started two, three months ago. My wife oh, almost wow. watches them year round, but this time especially we have lots of, we call them the Hallmark Hall of Fame movies, but they're the Hallmark Hall of Fame Christmas movies. I love it. So we have lots of Christmas in our house right now. I think that's awesome and lots of joy. So where did you grow up, John? I um, am a local person. so. Um, 
I was originally born out of state, um, in Utah, and then we moved to Idaho, but really Texas is home. We moved here when I was about five years old. I grew up just south of here in Arlington. Um, went to Arlington High School, and for the most part, stayed here around the area pretty much my whole life. I suppose you have a favorite Texan food. Ooh, favorite Texan food. So um, I love barbecue, mm -hmm. and we, my wife and I like to travel on occasion, and we go different places. Sometimes we'll try barbecue, and it's never as good as barbecue is in Texas. So <laughs> Texas barbecue would definitely be high on the list, and uh, hamburgers. I like hamburgers. I'll eat a hamburger anywhere we go. They're always delicious. Yes. And uh, <clears throat> why did you become a physical therapist? So. Oh, I knew I always wanted to do something that was active. Um, I like being active. I like dealing with people. Um, I've always liked the medical field as well, so I knew it was going to be something kind of along those lines. Um, I learned kind of at a, a younger age that I'm the best version of myself whenever I'm helping people and kind of serving others. So physical therapy really just kind of became a natural thing. We actually had a family friend who was a patient here at Barkman and Smith, and this was back in Oh, 1998. Um, we told him that I was kind of interested in physical therapy. He got me the interview here as a technician. Um, so that I started here. Um, and then just through that experience, I grew to love physical therapy and went to school, um, did some rotations at some of the places that you mentioned. And then I came back here and I've been back here for, oh, since 2005. So I'd like to say, even though there was a gap there in the middle, I've been with Barkman and Smith since 98, so that puts me at 22 years now. They're very really glad to have you, I know I was. <laughs> and uh, um, what is your favorite thing about working in physical therapy? Um, I like the people. Um, there's very few jobs where you get the opportunity to really kind of develop a connection with lots of different people. Um, I like different variety of like hobbies and activities and learning about things and there's no better way than kind of talking with the patients and getting to know them and kind of finding out about their their hobbies and interests. Um, I enjoy watching people get better and seeing a difference that you make from kind of going to someone that's impaired and have a hard time doing things yourself to getting back to where they have a normal good quality of life. It's a rewarding job. I know we always say that we do this to kind of always help other people but there is a big portion of it that it just it feels good to be able to be here and help and serve people well as a health provider what is your favorite body part to treat so i i thought about this one because i knew the question was on there <laughs> um one of my favorite ones is really it's probably not a body part you mentioned earlier that um, i do wheelchair seating and mobility and started the clinic here five six years ago so i'd say um, wheelchairs and mobility limited people are really one of my favorite things um, so i love dealing with some of our wheelchair clinic patients helping them kind of get the equipment that they need and teaching and educating them working with our the companies that help us kind of design and get those wheelchairs ready for them so they're probably one of my top favorites if i had to pick a specific body part it would probably be shoulders i enjoy working with shoulders and knees as well so, like your knee replacement. Yep. That's probably why they both work so well. Probably. <laughs> well, if you had a superpower, what would it be? Um, so I really had to think about this one too, because <laughs> of all the questions people ask, this is my one that I, I never have an answer for. So I, I decided it was going to be reading people's minds, because I would be in a lot less trouble probably at home if I could read my wife's mind. <laughs> I think that would solve just about every problem in the world if I could read my wife's mind. Well, good luck with that. Thanks. <laughs> if you have any like secret suggestions for me on how to do that, let me know. I will. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to do, for example, a favorite hobby? Mm -hmm. I enjoy um, spending time with my family. I, I think we maybe have a question later on that part of it, but um, anything to do with my family, I really enjoy. I really enjoy cycling. Um, used to enjoy running a little bit more, but my knees don't tolerate the running quite as much as they used to. So if I had a Saturday, other than spending time with my family, that they said you can go and do anything that you wanted to, well, one thing I would probably just hop on my bike and ride for several hours and I would just go pick a nice, pretty scenic place. 
and do that. So a little nature involved there. Yes. So what is a little known fact about you that will surprise people? Okay, so um, I lived in the Philippines for two years, um, and just in the course of living there, I, I speak Filipino. You know how, but I, I can speak Tagalog still fairly well, which is kind of the main language in the Philippines. Um, what else had to think? So I uh, was in a documentary in Belgium. Um, I think I have the video of it somewhere. I had a patient who worked for a nonprofit that was called Pedal Against um, PTSD. So it connected veterans who had PTSD and involved them into a cycling community where they could kind of um, help manage some of the symptoms and just problems that kind of come along with PTSD and have a good outlet for them. And at the same time, I had a patient who was a veteran with PTSD that knew bike. So we kind of got them connected together. He got a new bike from them and an organization in Belgium was looking for interesting ways that people were using bicycles to help the community. So they contacted that group um, and did a documentary. So um, I was in part of that documentary about cycling and benefits with PTSD that's floating somewhere around the, the web in Belgium. That's a fascinating story. It, yeah, it is pretty neat. Mm -hmm. You can look back on that and be very proud of yourself. Uh -huh. I've showed it to my kids every once in a while. Part of it is English and part of it is not in English. So they had a hard time watching the whole thing of it. But yeah, they think it's fun when they see dad in a, a strange foreign country documentary. So I know that you were once in triathlons. Mm -hmm. So do you still participate in triathlons? And could you share any of those experiences yeah. with us? So uh, COVID slowed things down a lot. And probably along with some of the other people as well, COVID kind of made us a little bit lazy. So I, I tell people now that I'm kind of triathlon lazy. And I haven't gotten back into them as much, partly because the running gets a little bit harder. Um, I've done a couple of half Ironmans. Um, one thing that uh, was always kind of fun is it was years ago, I, I raced in the same triathlon as Lance Armstrong. And I, I still say that he only beat me because of some type of medical enhancement. <laughs> Honestly, I never saw him the whole time other than I was going out and he was coming back way, way faster than anybody else. And that's the only time I saw him the whole race. But I'm sure he was enhanced somehow. Otherwise, I would have beat him. Um, I'll still do my bike a lot. Um, probably the funnest things I've done on my bicycle is I've ridden up Pikes Peak twice, which is in Colorado. It's it's super high, it's horribly miserable, and if anybody wants to do it, they should come and talk to me first, and I might try to talk them out of it. Um, I've, I've done running ones from in Utah and um, in uh, Las Vegas, where a group of six people pile in a van and you run 200 miles together. Um, to ones where you, with another person, you just loop a, a course and you do that as many times as you can in 24 hours and whoever rides the farthest wins. So my brother and I won that one several years ago for the two men team of who could ride the, the most laps in the farthest wow. in 24 hours. Congratulations. Thanks. That's pretty big. Well, you always have had some exciting you know, activities. Mm -hmm. Well, my last question is, I know you have twins. Uh -huh. Can you share a couple of exciting experiences uh, yes. with us? So, uh, my kids are always kind of, <laughs> <laughs> I'm the crier of the family. <laughs> and my wife and I have twins, so we kind of had a hard time having twins, or just kids, so we have twins, so that they're the best thing in the world. <laughs> they, uh, they turn 13 here in about a month, which is crazy to think about. But they're kind of getting to the point now where they're like, they're real people, like with these great personalities. Sorry. And they're quickly becoming <coughs> my best friend. Just, it's fun to spend time with them. Um, my son enjoys cycling now, so the two of us will go on bike rides, and it's great to spend time with him on bike rides. Um, my daughter started cross country um, against her will. But in my defense, uh, I convinced her to do it, and she loves cross country now. So she comes home, and, and she challenges the other girls that when they say, no, can we just stop and running? And she'll tell them, no, we're in cross country. You have to run now. So she <laughs> makes all of them run just like we encouraged her to run. So really, 
every chance I get to spend with them is is a special experience. Uh, they're wonderful kids. So it's kind of hard to pick one because all of them are, are truly amazing. They're great. That sounds wonderful. Yes. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you for that, Jerry. <laughs> well, that concludes our meeting. And John, thank you so much for this interview. Yeah. I've enjoyed it immensely. And I think we might have some other questions here. I'll turn off any waterworks for all the rest of the, the questions. So how did you, <laughs> I'll let you read this one, <laughs> Jerry. <laughs> so John, how did you get the nickname Gentle Therapist? Um, it's, I gave it to myself if it counts, if you can give yourself a nickname. Um, so every time I go up and, and stretch a patient, especially if it's a shoulder patient or a knee patient and their knee or shoulder doesn't move very well, and I know it's gonna hurt, then I always let them know that I'm the gentle therapist with some kind of like false hope that that will make them totally relax and be calm and not have any pain at all. And then they very quickly remind me that I'm not the gentle therapist, <laughs> but I still maintain and defend that I'm the gentle therapist. Mm -hmm. Have I always wanted to be a therapist? Um, no, I, I don't know what I would have been otherwise, but growing up, I'm sure I had all the things of, you know, you want to be a fireman and a policeman and all these other things. Um, in college, though, I, I remember thinking it was definitely going to be something medical. So once I could really think about what I wanted to be when I grew up, um, therapist was really what it was. Ooh, I'll let you ask our next one here, too. I think there might be two in there. Well, it sounds kind of exciting. If you could meet anyone in the world, who would it be? You know, I don't know. I have a hard time answering that question. Um, there's no one that is like this huge shining star of a person that I think my life would be complete if I met. I've never been starstruck with much of anybody as far as meeting people. So I'd say in general, I just enjoy meeting people all over the place. Um, I don't have anybody on my list of have to meet. And if you could travel anywhere in the world and cost is not a factor, uh -huh. Where would you go? So um, my wife will enjoy this one. So my wife's name, it's a little bit different. Her name is Mylena. So it's M-I-L-I-N-A. Her mom just kind of threw some names in a blender and that's what came out. Um, so we were looking up where does that look in and does anybody else have that name? There's a little town in Greece that's Mylena, Greece. So we've always said that it would be really fun to go to Mylena, Greece and stay there and spend time and vacation. Right. So awesome I'll take my story. little degrees. Yeah. Absolutely. What do you think about the Green Bay Packers? So I cheer for three <laughs> football teams, and the first two probably won't have any problems with the, the people in the area. So uh, I cheer for the Green Bay Packers first. Um, I never lived in Wisconsin. Um, when I was growing up, my grandfather and the grandkids, we would watch football games with him, and it was always watching the Green Bay Packers and together. And the snow. Yes. So Green Bay Packers are my favorite football team. After that is the 49ers. Unfortunately for people that live here, my third favorite team is anybody who plays the Cowboys. <laughs> Sounds like my husband. <laughs> he was a nice man. I think I would get along well with him. <laughs> Do we have any other random questions? It's been fun tonight. That's Thanks for joining fun. us tonight. Oh, I have enjoyed it so much. These are always fun. It. Yeah, it's lots of fun. Usually I'm on the other end of it, which is always weird. It's kind of, it's fun to be on this it, end. It was so difficult well. not to chime in when you were through answering to some of those questions, mm -hmm. particularly the general therapist. Yes. Because I can still remember us lying back there and you say, Cherry? <laughs> <laughs> and you still hear the voice, Cherry? <laughs> So I'm sure you would agree that I'm definitely the gentle Oh, therapist. absolutely. Yes. Capital G. Yes. <laughs> and I think we've made through all of our questions tonight. If you have any other questions, feel free to pop them on there and, and we'll answer them kind of at a, a future date. We'd especially like to thank Cherry for joining us tonight. The really, the patients that come in and do this part are the best part for us. It's always fun to <laughs> see you guys outside of being a patient and kind of in this type of atmosphere. So we'd like to wish everybody kind of a happy Christmas and holiday season. If we uh, have a